Welcome to the tutorial on creating data visuals in Power BI, focusing on bar charts, pie charts, line charts, and cards. These fundamental visuals are crucial for transforming data into understandable insights. Let's walk through the process of crafting clear and effective charts that present data in a meaningful way. On the right side of the interface, there are two panes. Visualizations pane and data pane. In the visualizations pane, we can find all types of visuals that are necessary to create a report. From the very first row of build visual, we can choose different types of bar charts and column charts. Let's select the stack bar chart. After selecting, a blank visual can be seen in the report area. We must choose fields to populate this visual. From data pane, from the Superstore dataset, drag the category field and drop it into Y-axis. Then drag the Sales field and drop it into X-axis. The bar chart provides a clear view of the distribution of sales across different product categories. Now, drag the order priority field into small multiples. It depicts the distribution of sales across different product categories segmented by order priority levels. Similarly, select the stacked column chart. Drag and drop the subcategory into x-axis and sales field into y-axis. The column chart provides a distribution of sales across different subcategories. Now, select the clustered bar chart. Drag the category field into Y-axis, sales field into X-axis, and the order priority field in legend. The visual illustrates the sum of sales by product category and further breaks down each category by order priority. While selecting the clustered column chart, Click on the 100% stack bar chart. This bar chart displays the sum of sales by product category, with each category's sales further divided by order priority as a percentage of the category's total sales. Select the pie chart from the third row of Build Visual panel. Drag the segment field into Legend and the Sales field into Values. The pie chart illustrates the distribution of total sales across different customer segments. The size of each slice represents its contribution to the overall sales, providing a clear visual of which segments are most valuable in terms of sales volume. While the pie chart is selected, click on the donut chart. Both charts are used to show the same kind of data breakdown. However, in donut chart, the hollow center can be used to display additional information. Select the line chart. Drag the order date in the x-axis and the sales field in the y-axis. 
The line chart illustrates the yearly sales trends, showcasing how total sales have evolved over the years. Now, drag the category option in Legend. This chart shows the yearly trends of three different product categories from the year 2011 to 2014. Drag the profit field in the secondary y-axis. Now, the chart is comparing the growth trend of total sales and total profit from 2011 to 2014. Also, if we add the category column in small multiples, we can see the same comparison of sales and profit segmented by product categories. While selecting the line chart, let's click on the area chart. Both the line chart and the area chart can be used to represent trends, but the area chart can be particularly effective when you want to show the part to whole relationships over time. Again, while selected on the area chart, click on the line and stacked column chart. This chart shows columns representing the sum of sales per year and a line representing the sum of profit over the same period from 2011 to 2014. Select the card visual. Drag the profit into fields. It will show the total profit in a single value. Similarly create card visuals for sales and quantity. Card visual is used to display a single value that is typically a result of an aggregation. It's a simple and effective way to show a key metric such as total sales, total profit, or total quantity ordered. Again, click on the multi-row card. Click on the profit field. And then click on the category field. The multi-row card appears to list the sum of profit for different types of categories. A card displays a single data point, while a multi-row card can display multiple data points in a single visual. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon, so you don't miss out on our upcoming tutorials. Thank you for watching.